Hey guys. So, who out there hates scary movies like me? I mean, I can't stand them. I won't pay money to go see one. I don't watch them at my house. I just don't like them. But, I wanted to tell you something very interesting about your brain and scary movies. Is anybody out there? Gonna wait for a second to some people to join. I think everybody is probably at work. I was hoping that people might be taking lunch. Um, they can go back and watch the replay. So let me explain something to you. When you go to a scary movie, you know going in that it is fake. There are actors and actresses, there were producers, there were script writers, all of that. You know that it was fake. There are people that work for the movie company that make all of the costumes, you know, the makeup artists, things like that. So you know that it is not real. But yet, when you go into a scary movie, and you know it's not real, as the movie is playing, your palms get sweaty, your heart starts racing, you feel like just running up out of your seat, you know, when the big scary monsters come out or whatever. And it is because your subconscious mind does not know the difference between real and fake. So let that sink in for a second. So even though you know going in that it is a scary movie is not real, your body is reacting to it. So what if you took the opposite approach to that? And you were telling yourself good, positive, uplifting things. Remember, your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between real and fake. So, to give you an example, when I was growing up, um, before the age of 20, I was skinny. I mean, skinny, skinny with a capital S. At one time, I even remember drinking tons of milkshakes trying to gain weight. That's crazy. Uh, now, it is the opposite of that. And so, up until recently, people if we engaged in a conversation about losing weight, I would always say, I have the metabolism like molasses. It is slow as molasses. My metabolism is so slow. Well, my subconscious mind didn't know if that was real or fake, and it was telling, I was telling myself that my metabolism is slow. Not anymore. There are tons of scripture in the Bible that talks about how words are powerful, and you know the verse in the Bible where God says um, to say to that mountain, be removed. He didn't say just think about it. He said to say it. And so a lot of things I have learned in the last two months since I quit my day job. And then I also went through some training to get certified on um, the Aroma Freedom Technique. And I've just learned a lot of things about how our mind and our body operate. God did a marvelous thing, and we have just missed a lot of that. So, back to my metabolism. So, once I have learned this, now I constantly say to myself, my metabolism is so fast. I have the fastest metabolism. My metabolism helps me lose weight. And I will randomly say that to myself as I drive down the road. I know y'all think I'm crazy right now. I will say it whenever I'm thinking about it. I also have an app that is on my phone that I downloaded. It's free. It's called Think Up. And it's for daily affirmations. And you can record four different affirmations. And um, I have several different ones on there. One of them is like, I, des I deserve a job that I love. And that one, when I recorded it, I did not know how powerful that was. I was just using a prompt that they had, show had given me on the app. And I thought, oh, that's a good one. I'll record it. And when I play it back to myself, every time I get to that one, I would tear up, like almost start just bawling. And it's because down deep, I did not feel like I was worthy and that I deserved anything. And so it brings a lot of negativity back out of your life. And I also recorded 
your metabolism is so fast and or my metabolism is so fast and so now I hear myself speaking that um, so I'm just telling you this that you need to speak positivity into your life and there's a scripture in the Bible that talks about um, speaking things as though they were not as though they are but as though they were so if you are in a situation that is not optimal for you don't don't think on that don't speak the, the negativity that goes with that speak things as though it were things that you want out of life and positivity that you want and situations that you want if you don't have a dime in the bank do not go around saying I'm broke poor pitiful me I don't have money to do this I want this out of life don't say that don't say that just say I have an abundant life I have an abundance of money I have an abundance of income I am freely able to do X Y and Z state those things Make your subconscious mind believe it. Again, it's like the scary movie that I started off in this video about. Your mind does not know the difference between real and fake. Okay, so when you go to a scary movie, your body's reacting that. Flip that around and use use the positivity in your life. Make make your life positive and say those things to yourself. Okay, your your mind doesn't know that it's not true, but it will come to life, and it's scriptural based so if you need help um, in certain areas with your in your life when you have goals and you feel like um, there's negative voices that are just coming after you and every time you want to do something it's like well I can't do this because blah 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 no 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 there is hope out there people I'm telling you um, it is scriptural based and it's there's a science behind all of it and I am very passionate about helping people. Um, be very conscious about the words that you say. Um, don't say, I want anything, because if you say that the word want, that means that you are lacking in something. Don't do that. Speak life. So if you need help in these areas, please, please reach out to me. I would love to help you. Um, I'm hosting sessions now that I am a certified AFT practitioner. And um, it is just my passion to help people with their passions in life. I'll just put it like that. And think about the words that you say and speak life into your, um, into your life. Speak life into your life. Okay, well, I hope y'all have a blessed day. And um, again, let me know if I can help any of y'all. Bye.